Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In today's video, we will be sharing some inexpensive cooling ideas using PVC pipes. How is the weather where you are right now? The weather here for this gentleman is extremely hot and sunny, causing the room temperature to rise significantly. And of course, being a creative individual, he quickly came up with ingenious solutions to tackle this challenging issue. Moving on to the first idea, he currently has a cylindrical box. Do you have one of these at home? If your answer is yes, watch the video and take note of the details because you can replicate this for the the box you have. At this point, he has cut out a circular hole on the box lid. But he doesn't stop there. He proceeds to place the motor on top and uses a marker to indicate something. Can you guess what his next step is? Let me know your answer in the comments below. This gentleman seems to be quite meticulous, isn't he? He's showing me every single line he's marking. I'm quite impressed by his precision. I met someone who's overly careful, and my endeavors wouldn't yield perfect results like this man's. If I'm not mistaken, is he drawing the lid of this box to resemble a fan? Did I figure this out on my own? If you also think my thought is correct, let me know. The more I follow his drawing process, the more I'm convinced that my interpretation is accurate. Swiftly he moves past the step of cutting the ventilation slots. Now, he's bringing his motor over and using screws to secure it in place. Flipping the box over, he brings a real fan blade and attaches it to the motor. Look at that, it's working really well, isn't it? The work at this end of the box is complete, and he flips it back as before. Can you guess what this guy is doing? That's right, he's connecting the electrical wires so that the internal fan can operate. The way he's connecting the wire ends together looks very professional. He might be a skilled technician. Indeed, from the beginning of the video until now, I haven't had a moment of doubt about his professional abilities. Every step he takes is swift and clear, very understandable. He's not just a skilled craftsman, but also an excellent instructor. Back to the guy in the video. Right after completing the wire connections by wrapping black tape around them, He continues to use a ruler and draw on the box. I really can't quite grasp what he's doing. These things are beyond my understanding. I need to learn a lot from this man. It turns out that the spots he just cut are meant for the fan switch. Quite creative, isn't it? Next, he lays the box flat on the ground and marks two positions on the body of the box. A drill will help him create two holes on the box body. He brings in pipes and valves. Placing the valves into the small holes, he connects an additional pipe segment between the two valves. Right after completing his piping system, he brings in a stand and places the box on top. Now let's take a look at the overall model he has created. It's quite amazing, isn't it? This is a substantial model. He unlocks the water and let's watch how that fantastic model will function. Water is flowing in through the conduits and is being sprayed out from the valve head he installed. I see it resembling a misting machine. What about you? Let me your answer in the comments section below. But that's not all because a surprise is waiting for us on the other side as soon as he turns on the fan switch. Let's take a look at the temperature difference between the outside and the inside of this wall. The temperature difference is quite significant, isn't it? It's precisely because this noticeable contrast that we'll explore how he constructed it. Wow, look at how professionally he's working. I think no one can doubt his building skills. His current method is significantly reducing the construction time. Do you feel that way too? I'll learn this little trick from him. Who knows? Someday I might use it myself. When I was a child, I used to think that the work of construction workers was fascinating and simple. Just lay the bricks neatly and apply mortar, and it's done. However, as I grew up and had to engage in such tasks myself, I realized that saying is easier than doing. We stand on the outside looking in, and we can't truly comprehend the challenges and complexities hidden within these tasks. Have you ever thought the same way as I do? Oh, it turns out the secret of this wall lies here. He added insulating fiberglass on the inside of the wall. Why did I never think of this? He's truly inventive. He continued to work on the interior of the wall, watching the video. This task seemed quite simple, but in reality, it took a lot of time. 
I think if I were to do it alone, I definitely wouldn't be able to complete the wall as he did. Oh, he is using two wrenches to bend the iron bars that he had added to the wall earlier. And of course, right after finishing the bending process of the iron bars, he will proceed to work on building the remaining part of the wall. Did you notice? This guy has been constructing the wall from sunny weather to rainy weather. It's amazing, and it makes us realize how much time and effort such manual labor jobs require, don't you think? Luckily, in the end, he has also finished building the wall on a sunny day. Now let's take a look at the temperature difference between the inside and outside of the wall. Between the inside and outside surfaces of the wall, the difference is not just 1 or 2 degrees. This difference is quite substantial. If you find this trick interesting, give it a try and let us know the results in the comments section. Can you guess what these two men are discussing? While I can't pinpoint exactly what they are discussing, I can surely tell you one thing. The trick they are about to demonstrate is going to be a huge surprise. First, he sets up posts and stretches a string to measure something. Oh, not what I thought. He stretches the string to use as a guide for painting on the ground. Can you guess what he's going to create? I don't think I'm particularly sharp or creative to guess exactly what they are creating at this moment. Mistaken? He's using a shovel to dig the ground according to the shape he drew. In a flash, he has dug a long and deep hole. This is a task that requires a lot of he drew. Strength, in my opinion. If you decide to try this trick after watching it all, I suggest asking for help from family to make your work easier and more efficient. After finishing the outdoor digging work, he moves on to working on the interior wall of his room. And of course, a fan is an essential element in this guy's cooling ideas. With gentle movements, his drilling machine helps him create a hole through the thick wall that the skilled workers built. Truly impressive, isn't it? Using a tape measure from the hole in the wall to the pit, he uses a cutting machine to cut a section of PVC pipe. Adding a connector joint, he needs to lead the pipe down into the pit. But don't rush, his work isn't done here. Can you see it? He keeps connecting more PVC pipe sections, various types of connectors, and more pipe sections. His work requires so many tools. I genuinely admire this inventive creation. Although I only briefly watched the video, I must exclaim that his job required so much effort. He diligently installed the pipe sections, and only now do we see his pipe reaching the end of the pit. Truly, when he started digging, I didn't expect the pit to be this long. Now he's continuing to use PVC connectors to lead the pipe back to the original starting point. Do you understand this man's intention? Honestly, up to this moment, I still can't fathom what model he's creating. It's quite challenging for someone like me. Now he's back in his room and using a tape measure to measure the wall. He marks an X at the desired position and draws a circle around it. And of course, not keeping the viewers waiting, this guy uses a cutting machine to cut along the previously drawn circle. Do you recall the old method he used to create square openings earlier? Repeating it once again, he's creating an opening with this circle of his. Now let's see how he installs the pipes into the room through this circular opening. After adding the fan and using connectors to attach it to his pipes, he fills in the gaps with mortar. Fortunately, after completing the mortar filling for the first opening, he also doesn't forget to do the same for the second opening that he drilled. To ensure safety for everyone in the family, he uses glue to attach a small mesh in front of the fan. And naturally, don't forget a beautifully shaped cover for the remaining opening. If you think this man's work ended when he finished attaching the covers to the fans, you're mistaken. He still needs to connect the electrical wires for his model to operate smoothly. This is an extremely important step. We can't overlook it. 
Why am I telling you that connecting the electrical wires is the most crucial step? Because it demands precision from the worker. If there's any negligence in this step, leading to electrical leakage, the consequences could be unforeseeable. This could pose a danger to everyone in the family, especially children. Oh, what does he have in his hands? A roll of silver foam insulation. Measure and cut. Can you guess what he's going to do with it? Turns out he's cutting it to wrap around the pipe sections, protecting his pipes. Let's look back at the overall picture and see how he has created this fantastic pipeline. To finish this model, he needs help from his partner, and they're starting to backfill the pipes just like at the beginning. Brilliant! Everything is done, now let's admire their masterpiece. Heat is no longer a problem for this guy, as his room has become significantly cooler. After an hour of experiencing the model he created himself, the temperature in his room has decreased considerably. This is truly wonderful, isn't it?
Now I sincerely thank you for paying attention. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to watch the latest and most interesting videos from us. See you in the next.